as you can see, uh, what I'm going about to show you is just basically I'm going to provide you the link on my website, which is autotradeking.com. And once you get there, uh, just click on the forums. And once you get to forums, just scroll down to mobile phone how-tos. As you can see, it's right here. That's mobile phone how-to. Click on that. Once you click on that, um, just look for finally full Android for HTC HD2. No more Windows Mobile 6.5. If you pay attention, these are the three links I provide, you know, to have Android. First off is if you have a fresh HD2, never been ROMed or any custom um, customization done to it, then you need to put the HSPO 2.08. All you have to do is click on this. Just hit download. And just wait for 20 seconds. Once you see that, make sure you save it to your desktop. Once you save it to your desktop, it's going to look like this. See the HSPO right here. As you can see, I saved to desktop, and I'm gonna show you how the process works. Okay. Okay. As you can see now, just remember to plug your phone into the computer, and you can leave Active Sync and hit Done. And once you do that, as you can see, that it's installing right now. So. Okay, now it went away. So, you know, basically you see um, the active sync and you need to connect and it is right now. And you see the green box, that's Windows Mobile. Okay, that's Microsoft Active Sync. You gotta have this on, okay? As you can see, I'm gonna remind me later. And you can do a simple fix just by hitting connect without setup. Okay, once you do that, you're good. Don't close it, okay? All right, as you can see with the HSPL, I'm going to drag it down here real quick. Okay, just double click on this. Double click again. As you can see, the DFT mode, okay? What you're going to do is just hit next. As you can see, once you do that, you can see this is changing right now. And you're going to wait for the I USB to pop up. As you can see the USB, if it pops up, then you're good, okay? Once you see the USB here, just check back here. Make sure it has to say 2.08 HSPL. If you see that, just click next. As you can see, it's running, it's doing the thing. Sorry for the shakiness, I forgot the tripod at home, so I'm doing this at work, so just bear with me. The other video uh, got deleted, but somehow, uh, that's why I'm providing you with another video uh, from the beginning to the end. Okay, as you can see, it's changing. That means that it's already hacked it, and that's what you should see. It says DFT. We hacked it. Uh, once you see that on your phone, okay, just look on your screen, and it's going to ask you. Do you see we hacked it? Just click yes. And once you do that, you're going to see your phone restarting. You hit OK. And now you go back to your phone. It's going to go back to just like how you uh, set up your T-Mobile phone. And uh, you can see the quality of the video. I'm using a MyTouch 4G uh, to record this video. Okay, once you see this comes up, uh, basically your phone's going to go back to normal. And the next thing you're going to need to download, uh, let's go back to the website. Okay, I'm hoping you, you have downloaded this two link, all three of them, just save it to your desktop. Okay, once you have done that and it's on your desktop, then proceed the video. If you haven't, you can pause the video. Once you uh, finish downloading the file, then go back to the video. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay, the first one that you're going to run. As you can see, this is a brand new phone. I'm just going to skip the process. Oh. Skip it. Finish. Okay, now the phone goes back to normal. And make sure that your phone is connected. 
to the computer, okay? Because remember, your phone has restarted. Uh, the only way you can check to make sure that your phone is still connect, just unplug it and plug it back in. Sorry. Once you plug it in, it should... Okay, right here. See, it says active sync. Just hit done. And go back to the monitor. As you can see, it's going to pop up the um, Microsoft Active Sync. And then make sure you connect it again. And I'll show you how that works. This is the first file. This is the MAG LDR 111. Just double click on that. And the one you want to go to is going to say ROM Update Utility EXE. Just double click on that. And just read this right here. Make sure you say you understand. And the battery has to be more than 50% to do this. Okay, if it's not, don't even try. It's just wasting time. Just click I understand. Hit next. Hit complete. Hit next. And you see it says if you want to select from below, just hit update now. And just hit next. Hit next. And you can see your phone. See how I go back into the bootloader. And remember, it has to say 2.08 HSPL. Okay? Once it's a USB connect, and you're going to see it. It's going to, it's going to take about a couple of seconds. And that's what you're going to see right here. Okay? See, it's already 100%. It doesn't take long at all for the first process. Just let it boot up and finish. Here's the key, okay? This is really, really important. Once you get this done, now you got to go to the other file, which is the man Android, okay? Once you do that, let it load up, and it's going to take you to the boot menu. See the boot menu right here? Okay. Don't worry about that. Now, you're going to use your down volume button go to USB flasher see that USB flasher okay and just select the green button and it says wait USB you have to do this real quick okay once you see that just click on the man Android folder okay so double click it and you're gonna click on DAF EXE just double click on that and that's what it's going to do. It's going to extract the file. And don't panic, okay? Look, it's still, it's still waiting on the USB. So if you have that, you're doing good, okay? Like I said, I'm at work. Sorry for all the extra noise. And you can see that DFT Android pulls up. Just hit next. Hit next. And it says it's going to wait. And you see a bunch of little, you know, letters and whatnot. There you go. There you go. Just let it do that, and you should have Android. So uh, make sure when, when with the process I'm showing you is once you get the MAGLDR111 up and running, don't panic. Select on USB flasher, and once you do that, just wait and open up your NAND uh, Android that you downloaded, and click on the DAF.exe. As you can see, I'm still waiting, and as long as the bar, the white bar goes up to 100%, or, you know, when it's finished, highlighted, uh, you'll see it changes, you know, you can see the dock ports team and all that. The good thing about this Android build is that, as you can see, you know, when you turn off your phone, um, Android is still going to work, because it's running off of your internal memory, not your SD card. Uh, I know you guys have been following my other videos on how to put Android on the SD card, uh, it was a wild ride, you know, but at least we enjoyed um, Android while we can, and now hopefully this build is here to stay, and uh, if there's more updates, I'll be sure to share with you guys.
As you can see, the white bar is almost finishing up. Alright, so now it's done. You see everything says OK. And it's going to boot up just like the uh, AT&T screen logo. And you're going to have the DFT, the force T. See where it says, see that? See, if you see this, man, you guys are following the video, and you're doing a great job. So, um, Android will pop up any second now. And if you hear that noise, that's good news. That's booting into straight Android. As you can see, remember if you remember the old process, uh, if you haven't, then ignore it. But if you have, uh, you have to go in and type in the CLRCAD and run the Herit tool and all that. Well, you don't have to anymore. This is a full Android build on your HD2. And if you need the internet settings, you have to do the internet settings for it to work. I do have videos on my website, um, and if not, I will provide the internet settings as well. There you go. Voila, you have Android. See that? It's not so bad. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to show you right now booting it up and see what you think and if you guys have any problem I will provide my email and my phone number that way I can get you guys have Android in your phone okay we're going to go through the process of setting it up let's get the process let's get that for now hey, can you get the price for this lady right here 07G Basically, I'm just skipping through. That way, I let you know that it's working on this phone, and I'll set it up in a little bit. There you go. We have Android on the phone, as you can see. It's very, very smooth. See that? Because remember, it's running off of your internal memory not your SD card See? we have Android and I remember back then uh, screen of death was uh, was the main main issue as you can see now you click on it it will come right back on so no more screen of death alright thank you for watching um, you got any questions or anything just leave a comment below and if uh, you really, really need help on it, I will provide some information and hopefully I can help out. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Enjoy.